So this week I had the responsibility of registering for my last semester of college ever, which is probably the most bittersweet thing I've ever experienced in my life. And honestly, not even gonna lie, like more on the bitter side, because when you think about it, it's actually like fucking insane. It's actually crazy. Because for the first time in my life, like literally the first time, I have absolutely no clue what my life's gonna look like in a year. Like a year from now, no clue. And that is terrifying. Oh my God, it's so scary for me. Like every year it's been, okay. Oh, it's just the next year of school, next year of school, next year of school. Now I don't. And now I'm freaking out. Out. like oh my god like I don't I don't know what my life's gonna look like am I gonna be doing social media am I gonna be in an office job am I gonna be unemployed who knows and it's just that uncertainty that's making me go fucking insane all I've known and I think everyone watching this can relate like all we've known is being a kid basically when you when you go down the list, our life has been being a kid. And now it's time, like, really, truly to be an adult. And it's really scary. It's like, it's really coming up. It really creeped up on you. So if you're a freshman in college watching this, enjoy your time. Please enjoy it. Because, like, whoa, that went by so fast. And now, like, I'm going to graduate in May. And I have no idea what I'm doing. I really don't. I have no idea. I have an idea of what I want to do. But the interview process and like getting a job and like moving back home, like, oh. It's just, I think the uncertainty that comes with graduating college is what's freaking me out. The unknown and the absolute no holding of the hand. Like you're just thrown out. You're like, okay, yeah, go get a job now. Go live your life, go pay taxes. Still don't know how to do that, by the way, so. <laughs> Thank you, college. It's a, it's stressful. It really, really is. And it's not fun, but it's inevitable. So I guess I just got to take a day at a time, not think about the future too much because the future scares me. I'm scared of getting older. I really am. Something about Target just makes me feel like safe and at home. Like I just love going to Target. Duh. Hints of Lime Tostitos are superior. And if you don't like them, then you're just like stupid and dumb. <sighs> the best Doritos hands down. A little potato pancake starter kit. Like, um, duh. <laughs> are you, are you dumb? Like, are you dumb? Some eggs, organic, of course, because like I'm vegan. Wait, let me see if any cracked. Big reveal. Yes! Oh! Oh my God, a lot of them cracked. <laughs> Wait, okay, let me not tilt it, but like there's some cracked, but only on the top. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say they're still good and I will use them tomorrow. These, oh my God. Kit Kats, but for Reese's. Like, are you fucking kidding? Some chicken nuggets. I'm gonna try this out instead of making my simple syrup for my coffee, cause I'm um, lazy. And some bacon, but I'm vegan, so it's awkward. I got the ingredients for like a bomb ass breakfast tomorrow. So I think when I wake up, I'm gonna make myself the most like delectable and delicious breakfast. I have a Coke Zero problem. It's like actually a problem. I pretty much drink Coke Zero more than I drink water. 
So I decided to get the mini cans to maybe curb my addiction. So that's a joke. <clears throat> I'll make it work though, it's okay. I got two holiday candles. This is Christmas cheer and this is balsam, balsam fe for fe the Christmas tree scent. And last but not least, some cozy fucking socks. Cause like what is a Christmas shop? What? So all together I got absolutely nothing that can um, nourish me in the long run. Hmm. This is my vibe. Whoa, I look bad. Anyway, let's move on. Literally, I'm a chef. Let's test. Scrambled eggs first. Mmm, perfectly scrambled. Wait, these are actually really good. Crispity and crunchity. Perf. If you're ever bored and you like don't know what to do, try to cook for yourself. I said this in my other video, but it's truly so relaxing and fun. Put on some tunes. I put on the chill jazz playlist on Apple Music. And I just make my breakfast, dance a little bit. It's so gorge. I don't have a single clue what I'm doing or like why I just got ready or like why I'm about to go outside. Cause I really don't have any idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but I guess I'm just gonna walk around and just see how the day goes. But first I gotta take my Yas pills. My antidepressants! So it was literally 70 degrees yesterday. Like 70. And I was wearing just a sweatshirt, but now I have to wear like this big puffer because it's 40. That makes sense. Come on, global warming. Pills. Pills. I'm trying to see if I can like grow out my hair a little bit, but right now it's in that awkward stage where like it's overgrown, but it, I can't really style it. And I'm not gonna try. Oh my God, it looks so large. So I'm gonna put on a little hat and maybe, what the fuck? Not gonna lie, not in the best mood today. Don't know why. Oh well, it happens. What am I gonna do, you know? Oh, I forgot my most important vitamin, B12. Without this, I think I would actually die because I have no energy as it is. So imagine like without this, scary vibes. Going outside, going outside, have nothing to do. I'm going outside, I'm going outside. What is there to do? New single dropping soon. You're jealous. <laughs> sad I literally just need to go for a walk or just like in a bad mood in general if I just go for a walk around the city I'm like so much better like I literally did nothing I went to Magnolia Bakery and got a banana pudding <coughs> what is that Okay, I swear to God, I just heard like a demon scream, but I guess not. That's good. So I have a new illness that you guys need to be aware of. It only affects a very small part of the population, but if you get it, like it's really serious. So I have GPS and that stands for GG Pasta Syndrome. I can't stop making it and I can't stop ingesting it. It's like, 
As soon as I'm like, okay, I need to make dinner. What should I make? Oh, Gigi pasta. My body and brain don't understand how much um, cheese, butter, and um, heavy cream I'm ingesting every week. But you know what? I don't care. And I will be making it. So here's how to make Gigi pasta. Oh my God, wouldn't it be funny if like I made like a, what's it called? Infomercial for like people who have GPS. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with GPS, please look into the vaccine. Side effects may include headache, vomiting, death. Anyway, let's get started. First, bring your boil to water. I, I mean, boil, boil, water to boil. Anyway, cut up your shallots and then cook your pasta. And then after that's done cooking, make sure you save your pasta water, you fucking idiot. And then you uh, put one fourth cup of olive oil and saute your shallots in that olive oil. After they're a little golden, add your tomato paste, idiot. And then you add some vodka, about two tape, no, one tablespoon. I'm drunk. Oh, sorry, guys, I'm, I'm literally drunk. I'm so drunk. And then you add a half a cup of heavy cream, mix that all together, put your pasta, some butter, some Parmesan cheese, mix that shit together, and you got some Gigi pasta. <sighs> Ooh, nothing is more toxic than an ice cold Coke Zero. Taste test. GG Hadid, like what the fuck, girl? You know what you're doing in the kitchen. And now time for everyone's favorite game. I like this, but I also hate this. I love the burning feeling you get when you drink an ice cold Coke Zero, like that. Ooh. And you feel it going down your throat. Nothing beats it. I hate Eternals. Mm, I don't really hate it. Wasn't my favorite. I think I have to see it again just to like solidify my opinion. You know what I mean? See, these mini cans aren't it. Like they aren't it for me because now I have to go into a second mini can. So I might as well just get the big cans. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> oh my God. Gigi's about to come up. I love the show Succession. Did I say this already? I have no idea. This show is so good. Like. I literally hate every single character, yet I like watch it like there's crack in it. Mm, so good. I hate running into people at school that like you don't know, but like they for some reason come up to you and like act like your besties. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Like the school acquaintance, like the person you only see on campus or at school that they just go like, hey girl, oh my God. And you're just like, it's nothing above surface level small talk. And just like, girl, Enough. I love third red pepper flake. Oh God, that hurt. I love 30 by Adele. Listen to it last night when it dropped. Whoa, I fucking love this album. I hate getting older. Let's bring it full circle. I feel like society makes us think like you need to have like a concrete plan about what you want to do with your life and like it's like set in stone that's it that's not what life is like if i planned that far in advance i would go insane i would go crazy anyway guys thank you so much for watching i so appreciate it this video was so underwhelming like i know i can just tell i haven't even edited yet but like i don't know i feel like i didn't do anything <laughs> oh well what you gonna do but next week, it's Black Friday and Thanksgiving, so that'll be a fun vlog. And my shopping problem will um, not be um, taken care of that day. It will be um, nurtured. Anyway, here are some songs I'm listening to right now. Okay. <laughs> Ow! Follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram. Um...